decoding no fly zone over Zamfara. Yinka Udmakin revealed. Our parents, out of ignorance over the demographic contradictions in the north, were fond of saying Gambari, Bafulani, Olejo, Hausa Lokba, Hausa, meaning there shouldn't be any fuse when a Gambari man kills a Fulani, as it is intra Hausa feud. The lie was spread that the Fulanis, who were the last set of people to arrive Nigerian from Futa Jalon, were of the same status with the houses whom they deceived after the 1804 Jihad to accept pure Islam. The Hausa were gullible for their deception and killed their kings so Fulani can rule over them. Then, Fulani moved on to the Kanuris, who told them they already had pure Islam before the Fulanis. The Fulanis, out of subtlety, dropped full feed language to culturally assimilate the Hausa by speaking the language. The Fulani, among themselves, their language claim that it doesn't matter. It was after they finished the conquest of the Hausa that they moved to conquer the Kanuri, who resisted them and said they were Muslims before them. This is the reason why all Hausa land today are under Fulani Emirs, but the Kanuris are under Shehuz. It has been strongly suggested that the Boko people insurgency partly has its origin in the Kanuri Fulani feud. I recall how one Hausa young man was making progressive contributions at the 2014 National Conference. It was during lunch time that I saw a Second Republic rep who passed on recently, scolding him in the corridor, saying, It seems we are beginning to give too much education to some of you. That is the depth of contempt the Fulani have for Hausa, the next level. Fulani suzerainty has brought out the worst in their people in the two leading parties who now talk to the rest of us like Boko people and Mieti Anla. Only those who are not vast in the Fulani way would not understand the indifference of the presidency to the recent Samfara schoolgirls abduction. As much as Governor Bilo Matawali tried to manage the situation, he was forced to make declarations at some points. He first told the country what we all knew all along that we would be shocked at the identities of these behind kidnappings of school pupils and that there were people paying so that abducted school girls are not released. These are weighty allegations that a proper government in a country that has not totally failed should be interested in and investigated. The shameful option of the Fulani bakers was to declare war on Zamfara by declaring a no-fly zone on the state. The National Security Advisor, Bangana Monguno, told reporters in Abuja that President Bori has ordered a no-fly zone to be placed on Zamfara as part of measures to crush bandits operating in the state. The NSA said the security agencies have been mandated to go after all non-state actors whose activities are 
inimical. The Marines are all ears, but we know the object of the measures is to block the engagement of the state in productive mining activities and it flows from the clash of civilization, food blockage and wake-up calls to the West. The recent strike by the Association of Food Sellers was a rude and crude attempt by some Janjaweeds to brass the Yoruba and other nationalities of the South. But it is an opportunity for us to address ourselves on the Nigerian afflictions. I recall being with Dr. Amos Akimba about two years ago and a nephew phoned him from Odi Irele that he was hungry. He told him he should wait for his driver to come and bring Nyam for him from his backyard in Lagos. The question of food security has always been on the agenda of the mini national conference. I regularly have with Mr. Femi Falano Sam, who says it is embarrassing that our young people now engage only in Okada business. He wonders what our governors are doing concerning food security when compared with Awo who established farm settlements all over the zone even though they have all become relics. The governors must get back to that season and massively engage our young people in agriculture. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. Yinka Udmakin. Well, uh, I appreciate your your write-up. You see, the Japanese, I will tell you, they don't like the houses. And the houses don't like the Fulanese. In fact, they are they are they step on each other's toes and they enjoy it. Yes. So that is why even when it comes to um to this uh issue of food blockage, if you watch it very well, the houses are not comfortable with that. Uh, uh, decision because they understand the uh, disadvantage that that is going to cost them so they never wanted such to happen you understand but the Fulanese that are not uh, learned in any way even the houses are even um, they, 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 they still try a little they went to school even more than the, the Fulanese. Understand? So because of the Fulanese levels of education, they couldn't know that, look, that this thing they are doing is wrong. Go. You see? That is their problem. And that is why they are still backward. Hmm? That's why they are still backward. And that is what is leading to the many crises that they are facing till today. Well, I am telling you. Well, let me leave it up mm -hmm. to you to come in and air your own opinion concerning this. What do you have to say concerning what Yinka Oduma King have just said? Please, whatever it is, uh, do me fit to leave those comments of yours below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.